बसमीम् अल्लाम फ्रेंड्स होप शो यू आर गुड दिस इज सईद एंड दिस वीडियो आम गोर शो यू हाउ कैन यू ईजीली रन रिग्रेशन वर यूजिंग स्टाटा एज आई एम यूजिंग स्टाटा फोर्टीन सो गाइज एज देर आर लॉट ऑफ थ्योरीज अबाउट रिग्रेशन लाइक एज आई हैव मैनी मॉडल्स लाइक वॉर वी ई सी एम ए आर डी एल Uh, so question arise when we apply regression model so the simple answer is if we have all variables are stationary at level if we have all variables are stationary at level in this case we go for regression and sure i am talking about the time series analysis and uh, now uh, the next question arise either uh, linear regression or simple regression produce long run or short run result so guys the answer is that simple uh, simple regression produce long run relationship so now let's start uh, as i have a data in excel sheet in column a i have my errors in column b i have my p variables which is a dependent variable well in c column i have y u my another explanatory variables while d i have also an explanatory variable suppose i have selected my three variables and copy now guys uh, the question arise how i can bring data from excel into stata so you have no need to worry just copy data from your excel sheet open your stata programs as i'm using stata 14 so guys click on this tab data editor add it data edit, editor tab click on this icon click as i click on this first cell do right click and paste here now asking you want variables name as well or data only cuz i want the same name as i have saved in the excel form so guys click variable name wow you can see here i have my all variables p x y u and x ex so close this file as my variables are here in variables view Uh, like my first variable is p the second variable y u and the third variable ax so how i can regression how i can run regression i have two methods the first one is through command methods i'll run regression with the with the help of the commands so guys look here regress r e g r e w -S, s regress write your first variable click double click on first variable then explanatory variables and then explanatory variables p is my dependent variable y uh, y u and e x i have my independent variables hey guys i simply write the command regress regress p y u e x again p is my dependent variable write first your dependent variable and then your independent variable i have written the equation or i have written all the my variables and press enter you will see i have a results so guys as p is my dependent variable look here p is dependent variable y well i have these my p values i have these p values the last p value is constant and the other two uh, p values are the first p value representing uh, my explanatory variable that is y u while the other variables is e x and p value hey guys how i can conclude if p value come more than 5 percent we say there is no relation ship among projected variables hey guys uh, you can see here the probability value of all my uh, two in uh, independent variables is more than 5% so in this case i'm really very really sorry um 
my probability value is less than 5%. So as I have said, if P value comes more than 5%, in this case, I said there is a no relationship. But in our case, I have my P value less than 5%. So I would like to say that there is a significant association. There is a significant, sorry, mm -mm. as my p value is less than five percent. So now I'll conclude that there is a significant. So guys, now how I can further interpret coefficient value representing positive sign. Hey guys, why you representing positive sign? And p value is less than 5%. Now I'll say there is a positive and significant association between y, u, and p. y, u is my independent variable while p is my dependent variable. So, guys, again, uh, my coefficient value is representing positive sign, means there is a positive relationship among my projected variables, and uh, p value is. Uh, indicating that there is a significant relationship as well as so guys uh, same for the uh, next uh, variables well uh, uh, prob probability value is uh, less than five percent means there is a significant uh, association among our independent variables and dependent variables so guys I have also other um, uh, statics uh, like uh, hey guys look here number of observations i have 34 total observation in my data set well look here this is probability value uh, 0 0.000 well i have my calculated f value is more than critical value as uh, if my f statics calculated f statics value comes more than probability value f stats then in this case i'll say that there is a sorry the model overall model is good fit uh, then r square r square indicate how much your independent variables are affecting to uh, your dependent variable well you can see here there is 95 percent effect of all independent variables on dependent variables it means this is a good model as 95 percent your dependent variables is affecting due to your projected uh, explanatory variables i have an other adjusted r scale value now so i would like to personally if you want if you want to interpret or if you want to compare your different two models please uh, make decision on the base of adjusted r scale because of uh, adjusted r scares means this uh, measure truly affect your independent variables uh, like suppose i I want to code an uh, example here. Suppose I have included uh, these two variables, which are highly relevant variables uh, for the dependent variable. Suppose I want to uh, also add two further irrelevant independent variable. In this case, you will see your R scale uh, will increase while your adjusted R scale will not increase. It may be decreased. So, adjusted r scale is a true measurement of uh, effect of independent variables to the dependent variable hey guys this was the first way of running regression so i run regression with the help of the command now i want to run regression with the help of the click system so guys go to statics linear model and now linear regression First of all, select here dependent variables as I have my p dependent variables. From here, select your in independent variables again. Sorry, yeah. I have selected my all independent variables. For constant, click suppress 
and okay wow you can see again your results p value your standard standard error coefficient value and your probability value etc so guys i hope sure you enjoyed thank you so much for being with me take care